Hey everybody, Alex McClune here. We are in Elkhorn where rescue efforts are happening. I'm gonna turn the camera around, show you what's going on. These folks are coming from a shelter in Waterloo. They are displaced residents. The shelter is working with Union Pacific to bring people here in Elkhorn. People were are being brought from Third Street Crossing in Waterloo are coming in these Union Pacific high rail trucks. They're trucks that you can probably see with those little wheels. They're able to drive on the railroad and they're being brought here to Main Street in Elkhorn. And then they're gonna be vanned over to Elkhorn Middle School where Red Cross is working with the school to help these displaced residents. So yeah, you can see police are helping these folks load their stuff up into this van and then they're gonna be bussed over to Elkhorn Middle School where we were at earlier, but police are saying they wanna give family space to get settled in and so I want to show you the high rail truck taking off so that high rail truck that you see over there is heading back to Waterloo to pick up the next the next group of folks coming to stay at Elkhorn Middle School can you bring it back to this side of the camera. So just to give you a sense of who we've talked to so far, we talked to the last group that was brought in, um, an older couple. A man told me that he had to ship his wife, he had to send his wife on her own because she was in a wheelchair and flooding got so bad in their home that he wanted her to be here first because of just her handicap, her disability. And then just talking to a woman who had a dog with her and she couldn't believe just how she was told that flooding would only be two inches and then it became four feet more than what she expected so guys I'm seeing your comments and yeah there are pets that are coming with these people um, not sure if they need help with their pets I just know that uh, they're not able to bring much right now the people we've talked to so far they've only been able to bring blankets a change of clothes uh, didn't see any food with them so uh, I've talked to the Red Cross today they've made efforts to take donations with for bottled water and food uh, and then blankets just to help these people um, get by for now and that's that's just how impactful this flooding has been All right, I'm gonna jump back in here, guys. So if you're just tuning in, just to give you an update, uh, we are in Elkhorn right now. 
rescue crews are helping people, dis, uh, displaced homeowners. They're trying to help people bring them into Elkhorn from Waterloo. They're being brought from Third Street Crossing in Waterloo, brought here to Main Street in Elkhorn. This railroad right behind me is what Union Pacific is using to help bring these people from Waterloo that were staying at a shelter and they're having to leave the shelter, uh, waiting to confirm whether it's flooding or uh, it's it's over capacity, trying to figure that out still. But what Union Pacific is doing, they're using what are called high rail trucks. If you were sticking, if you were around earlier, you probably saw the truck. These special trucks have wheels that help them drive on this railroad. It's about a 10 minute drive from where they are in water. It's, I think it's about a 10 minute drive is what one 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 um, uh, displaced resident was telling me about a 10 minute drive on this railroad. Uh, it's the only railroad that is above water right now, according to a spokesperson from Union Pacific. But they are working to bring displaced residents here to Elkhorn and they are being bust over to Elkhorn Middle School. So I'm gonna hang with you guys just so I can show you the next round of people that are being brought here to Elkhorn. It's crazy just to see how, how impactful the flooding has been over the past couple days. Even into the weekend, rescue efforts are still being made. I'm reading some of your comments and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just crazy to hear how impactful all this flooding has been. Mariah, yeah, you said it, this flooding is just so crazy. It's hard to believe that more people aren't talking about it nationally. Um, When the next high rail truck comes by, they said they had about six or seven more groups to bring over. Um, but when that next truck comes, uh, when that next truck comes back, I'll flip the camera around and show you guys uh, what we're seeing. So for now, I'll just kind of give you a sense of what it looks like here at Main Street in Elkhorn.
All right, guys, here comes the next high rail truck. I'll let you guys listen in on what we're seeing. Okay. Yeah. And let's light it. 